Hello everyone, Irish Warlock here, and welcome back to part 10 of our Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play. We're going to pick things up where we left off in just a moment after I give a quick recap of what has happened. So, along with Jill, we've arrived in Rosaria with going to Phoenix Gate, which you can just see on the horizon there, as our goal to discover what happened the night of Joshua's death. We're also tracking the robed Dominant of Fire, who was there that night, who was supposedly come back to the area. We started by going to a place called Martha's Rest, a little village, and met the innkeeper, Martha, who is a friend of Sid, kind of a, a help to his cause. While we were waiting for a bridge to be repaired, we helped her on a few jobs, including going to a local abbey slash monastery, where we met a priest who's helping some branded. And this is kind of where we learned a bit more about branded, that they can perform magic innately without crystals, but... As kind of a curse attached onto that, they're slowly turning to stone the more they use their magic. And this is also affecting dominance like Jill, Clive and Sid. And we even met Sid and saw that part of his arm is already turning to stone. Uh, once the bridge was fixed, we made our way to the village of Eastpool where we met a woman named Hannah, who is the widow of Commander Murdoch, who you'd remember from the start of the game. She kind of filled us up on what is going on here in Rosaria, that our mother is now married to the Emperor of the Empire, so making her the Empress, and she kind of rules Rosaria for him. She gave us also our dad's old gear, which you can see us wearing now, which looks freaking awesome. I absolutely love this armor. And then on our way out of the village, we met the mayor who wants us to help the village branded, who have since... Kind of don't have anything to do. They've kind of been abandoned. And he really wants to help them. Because times are a bit tough for everybody. And we said when we're on our way out. We'll put him in contact with Sid. And now we're going off to Phoenix Gate. So let's get moving. Yes we want to travel. To Phoenix Gate. Phoenix Gate. Northwestern Wasaria. Untouched in the many winters since the Stronghold's fall. The scars of that fateful night linger still upon her walls. But well, let's go and see if we can find out a bit more about what happened that night and just how responsible Clive is for poor Joshua's brutal murder. Yeah, you can see there it said Imperial Province, so Rosaria is ruled by the Empire. And I guess our mother is kind of like overseeing it. Just as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. What is that? Or is it just ash? Let's have a look around. Buried memories. All right, then. Let's see what we can find. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Yeah, you did. You can also see over there the land. Ooh. I thought that was just maybe like a just a regular cliff. I didn't realize it was an actual crater. Yeah, I guess that's where we beat Joshua to death. Uh, you can also see over there that the land is also like kind of blighted and destroyed. So it seems uh, the blight we've heard about is spreading south and causing quite a bit of problems for the local people. Including making it impossible to cast magic. What do we got? Come on. Oh. That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. 
All right, well, we remember what happened last time we nearly caught him. We had to fight a giant messed up harpy. So we'll see if that happens again or something similar. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. I was actually wondering about that. where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apoditry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Unless he's Joshua. So what are we then? Is it fire in general that opens the door or is it the phoenix specifically? I mean, I had fire powers Joshua. before which, which were supposedly from the phoenix, but well, sure I don't know. Nevermore. All right. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Actually, I want to check one thing. Uh. Okay, I was hoping maybe to see the fallen, but let's look at these. The Warden of Fire, last seen on the night of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate in the year 860, when the young Joshua Rossio lost control of his powers. The Phoenix first awakened among the motes of fire, an ancient tribe who dwelled in the western reaches of storm. And the careful preservation of the bloodlines among the Rosarian nobility ensured that the dominant would always be born into the line. The boon Joshua was bestowed upon his brother upon Clive's ordination as first shield, allowing him to wield fire aspect and magic without a crystal. It has long been the custom of Rosaria for the dominant of the Phoenix to share part of their power in this way, performing the rite of rejuvenation upon those they appoint as their protectors that they might serve them better. Ah, cool. And man. Mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire. Clive first saw him at Phoenix Gate uh, for no imperial invasion and for years believed him to be the dominant of the icon that killed his brother. Oh, okay, yeah, we already knew all that. Let's get going. I was hoping to see something on the Fallen. I probably should have clicked it during the uh, cutscene, but ah well. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? Okay, just check there. No, okay. <laughs> Like it was built yesterday. They're obviously built to last. What are these guys? Anything like this.
Why do you say her name like she was going to know what was going on? Oh, they're weird construct enemies like things. Cool. I love when fancy gets a little bit steampunky sci-fi stuff in it like this. And I wasn't too hurt. Okay, so there seems to be some variants on different kinds. Ah, they'll all go down the same. I mean, what's a fancy game without a long-dead, highly advanced civilization? Everything's got it. Elder Scrolls, Dragon Age, Witcher, Assassin's Creed, it's all there. The trope of the fancy genre. Where did I come from? I uh, I think I came from that way, didn't I? Yeah. Is it, let's say yes. Yes, it is. That's fine. Okay. A lot of an area to explore. Hello. I was say, I doubt you're just a straightforward guy to fight. Oh. Brilliant. So, in we go. Lay everything on them. I can't that was ridiculous the controller died and the game didn't pause and say please reconnect your controller it was just like no keep going best of luck
And he's down. Okay, that's actually one of the abilities I have assigned, so let's go take a look at that. Uh, so, I've got, yeah, what was a Heat Wave and Scarlet Cyclone, which I think is... Oh no, I've got Rising Flame, I don't need that anymore. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. We scorched by 15%, that's pretty good. Increased amount of XP earned, increased amount of gear earned. <laughs> oh yeah, I also... After I finished the last episode, I completely forgot and just accidentally ended up in menu where I got like bonus gear, I think, for uh, finishing the beta, and I completely forgot that I actually got it all. And I was just like, what's all this stuff? Oh, god damn, all that stuff. Yeah, so I got another sword, which is not as good as my current sword, so it doesn't matter, but it would have been a better sword to start the game with. Might have made some of those tougher fights a little bit easier, but... Oh well. I'm not usually a fan of using the promotional items anyway you get for that kind of stuff, because... I think, like... They're a little too high for the start of the game in a lot of games, so you just end up kind of... For the first, like, kind of while, you end up sticking with these promotional items rather than using the gear you find, and... I think it becomes a bit more... Ooh! Yeah. Look like jack o' lanterns. I'm gonna assume my fire abilities. Oh, let's see. Okay, actually, no, they do damage. Look at that. Run away! Yeah, so I'm not really a fan of using the promotional items because I think they're a little too OP for the start and you just kind of end up relying on them a bit too much. I think it was Assassin's Creed Valhalla where I got some pre-order items You're and... Sure have had to run this gauntlet too. Not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on. Let's keep looking. Oh, that's a nice amount of gold. I know it's called Gil, but I'm just going to call it gold. All right, another one of these fellas. And he's brought some help. Okay, need a heal there. Oh. And in we go with everything. Come on, quickly, and... Well, ah, not in time. Okay, and there's more. Do 
Okay, better take a high potion there, and... Ooh. And he's down. I say I do love the auto uh, pick up everything there, just like run having to run around and get every tiny bit of loot. It's nice just to you know keep walking and everything just come up to you. Oh god, how many rooms are in this place? And here comes some more. Look out. There's more of them. Yeah, I saw them. Garuda, lend me your strength. Oh, that was a bit too far away. Also, uh, something exciting that's coming up uh, this Friday, which is, oh, still going, <laughs> this Friday, which is the 28th, I will be doing my first live stream. Uh, I'll be doing it on Twitch, and I'll be streaming Spider-Man PS4, kind of in preparation for Spider-Man 2 coming out in October, because I do want to replay at least Spider-Man. Maybe Spider-Man Miles Morales, just kind of focusing on the main quests, just to kind of, you know, get everything in and remember everything. So I'll be starting that this Friday. Uh, probably gone for about three hours, 12 to 3-ish. Um, so yeah, there'll be a link to my Twitch channel in the description of this video. But if you can't make that, I will be putting up, I'll break into like the stream into different parts and put them on YouTube next week. Well, that can't be good. I don't like this. No, neither do I. Oh, dang. Change the feelings mutual. Iron Giant, okay. And he's not as friendly as the Iron Giant I remember. Okay, just get ready for a stagger there to bring him down. I'm gonna save my abilities for the stagger. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do a heal and a stone skin and get back into it. Not this time. 
Okay, just lay everything into him. Nice. That's a fair bit of damage there. Atomic Ray. Okay, what is this? Uh, yeah, I'll just keep attacking until I see something else, I guess. Oh, yeah, I uh, wish I could have dodged there. Yeah, so that wasn't a tell. So that's like an extra, uh, like an, yeah, like an extra health bar specifically for that attack. That's kind of cool. Kind of mixing up the fight a little bit, so it's not just a straightforward like button mash, smash until he goes down kind of thing. Oh, do another cheeky heal there, and then might need another. Oh, might need another cheeky heal there. Oh. Uh, messed that one up there. Come on, nearly got him down. Oh, good thing I did that uh, little jump there. Ah, nice. Dismantled. <laughs> and did we get anything nice for that? Ah, uh, yeah, just some more crafting stuff. Cool. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? I assume they're just kind of like protectors of the runes, just attack anyone who's not Probably the phoenix. Themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. Yeah, Clive's got to figure it out. Home. Jill, look. Okay, not the dominant, but something just as interesting. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Wicked wheel, what's that? Uh oh yeah, no, I need to actually look at the abilities. I don't think I have wicked wheel yet, do I? Oh, I do. It's that one. Ah, nah, not bothered with that. And when I'm here, anything worth upgrading? Yeah, let's get that up. And no. Oh no, I can't even get that one anyway. Oh yeah, let's get this because I actually use that quite a lot. 
Okay, where do I go? This way. So yeah, I suppose I can go either way. Uh, let's just get these. Hopefully they're potions. They seem to be. Right then. Right then, right then, right then. Let's try and figure out what the hell is going on. We said in past videos that this game <laughs> has been given a lot of answers, but a lot of questions. And this video is doing the exact same thing. It's just a lot of questions, but not a lot of answers, which I like because it's nice to theorize and go, what the hell is going on? But, you know, a couple of answers wouldn't go amiss. Some kind of chamber, like audience chamber kind of place. What the hell is that? All right then. I just greets every new enemy with such confidence, or I'm like a lich, or I'm like going, "What the living hell is that?" And he's just like, "Ah, let's deal with it." This grim reaper-looking mother right here, Jesus. I, the enemy designs are actually brilliant in this. Oh, he's going down quite quickly. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Level up. What the hell was that thing? It wasn't like the others. It would seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. Right then, uh where did I I came from that way, so And uh, yeah, I came from this way, didn't I? All turned around now. No, I came from these areas, so this the new area, I guess. And where's the map? Okay, well that's a helpful map, isn't it? Because <laughs> you just pick a direction and see what happens. Great. So Clive and Jill have no idea what these things are, so I wonder if they're connected to the Blight? Are they the uh, like remnants of the Fallen? Are they... what are they? If you don't know, leave your guess down in the comments and I'll take a look and... We'll see who's right. I guess they're like the spirits of the fallen. Light. 
streets. Well, that did something. Okay, so activate both sides and then press on. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so they were spectres, so we have spectres, wraiths, and liches. What have we here? Another fallen wonder. I assume the robed dominant didn't have to go through all this as well, which is why I'm thinking he must be Joshua, because I think we'd see the remnants of battle if he had gone through all this. And Clive said the Phoenix get through, so yeah, I, I'm really starting to think my theory that he's Joshua is right. It'd be very interesting. So. It isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. Why walk normally when you can jump and do your weird dash? That the phoenix? I mean, it's got arms, so I don't think it is. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Okay, what's going on? There he is. You, you, you're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? What? What? I said, a lot of questions, not a lot of answers. What? Myself and Clive think alike, apparently. Oh. Did we go back in time? I, I'm back. It's like a vision. Or did I actually go back in time? Probably a vision. Oh! Oh, I gotta watch this again. Stop it. Please. Stop. I did this. 
Joshua chose me to be his shield. It's younger Clive. And asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? Not really, but... I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Okay then. Remember to help me to the truth that awaits me. I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. Okay. This is going to be tri tricky. I took out Gerudo. I think I can take on a free. that stone skin and I will go in and get the strength tonic on as well myself the best chance possible ah oh, hell Okay, that's... Yeah, I shouldn't have been locked onto his head. That wasn't helping. Can I get my potions back? I don't think I picked any up. Or I picked some up, but not all of them. Ah, oh, and the epic music is kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on, I've nearly got him staggered. Nearly there. Okay, go for a double heal and I just gotta remember to pull him to the ground when he gets stunned. And he's down. Oh, I don't need to pull him down. Come on, yes! Okay, that was a lot easier than Garuda. Garuda took me at least a few tries. That only took one. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe I was thinking it was a bit too easy. It's dark, Clive. It really is. <laughs> pull him towards me. Am I doing any damage? Doing like a tiny bit. Okay, the fire damage seems to do a bit more. Maybe that's the point. Maybe I'm meant to be using my fire damage more, kind of symbolically defeating him in that way. I don't know. I think I'm just making stuff up now at this point. Try this one again. Eh. I mean, it's doing a bit of damage to the stagger meter, so that's something. Let's see if I can get him staggered and maybe that'll do a bit more damage then in the end. Okay, pick a high potion. Oh. Hell, that was a waste. Wow, he's really taking a beating. Okay. What the hell? I see. What have we learned by example? How did you figure that out? How did you come up with learn by example? Oh.
Alright, that's it. I'm out of potions. Oh my god, I've only gotten like a third of the way so far. Okay, so I wasn't meant to die like I thought. <laughs> I was thinking like, am I meant to die? This like the it's like is this the point like I'm meant to go down? Guess not. You know what, I'm going to... Where are the abilities? Uh, Rising Flames. Yeah, I'm going to actually change that from this one because I think... Can't do that in combat. Oh, okay. Okay, just put everything I got into him. And do a cheeky heal. I'm not sure how I feel about it giving me back my potions. Like, on one hand, it is kind of good because it means I've got a better chance of not, you know, being stuck on the boss fight indefinitely. Just, you know, trial and error, trial and error for hours. I've got a better chance of beating him, like, the second or third time around. Oh. But, on the other hand, I'm like, is it a bit handholdy then? Is it a bit easy to kind of have it that way oh heal 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 all right maybe it was good i got those potions back because i definitely needed them there on, go down go down go down nice It's all right. I 
I'm done running from you. Finally, ex ooh! It's time to find out who we are, once and for all. Oh, hello. What are you? Accept <laughs> the truth. Okay. Oh. Oh hell yes. Come on, get down here. We test it when you stuff. I'm not sure what this has done different except make me look cool. Like all my attacks seem to be doing the exact same damage and Or am I attacking a bit fast? I think I'm attacking faster anyway, but still. I, I think I know, I'm definitely doing more damage because I'm staggering them twice in a very short amount of time, so I must be doing some sort of more damage output. Come on, nearly got him down. Yes! Right upper cut to the jaw. Now it's done. Buy a shard. Use in crafting. Okay. Maybe make a cool weapon, like I did with the, uh, window shard, was it, from Garuda? Thank <laughs> you. 
Clive. Are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. And where is he? And who is he? Still so many questions unanswered. And what is that? I have a theory. I'll get to that in a minute. I have a theory about that one anyway. sure you're all right whatever it is you can tell me <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself I awakened as a dominant of fire right here in this castle and I've been running from it ever since but now I know for certain who I really am The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? Clive is asking all the right questions. We just need the answers. I need to know. So do I. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then the disturbance I felt at the care must have been confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Meanwhile, Daz, have we seen here before? Oh, it's your man, the Titan. He's still alive. I thought he was dead. Uh, 
I think I know what's in the box. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? I'll find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him and all his filthy brood. Come on, what's in the box? What's in the box? Yeah, it's her head, isn't it? Just like the movie. Right then, let's head on. The meaning of life. Afreet awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon of Freed, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as ign ignition, a fiery launch that drives back enemies while dealing damage as well as unlocking the limit break gauge. Dots for Freed's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and can be confirmed via the abilities tab. Cool. Limit break. The limit break gauge is located beneath Herald Bar, release clubs, inner beast and semi-prime into a free by pressing it triggers. When this gauge is full, the gauge fills. Semi-primary temporary grants increase attack potency speed, gradual HP regeneration and guard breaking strikes. Cool. So I suppose promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. Alright, we should arrange an introduction then. Let's actually look at these abilities. So, I guess because we spot Benedicta twice, once when she was kind of half Benedicta, half Garuda, and then when she was full Garuda. So I guess that's what this is. This is half live, half a free. Ah, but I don't have enough. But I do have... Yeah, I've got the limit break, but I... Oh, no, only 100. Will of the Wicks. Summon a storm of fireballs to circle about Clive, dealing damage while also absorbing damage. Cool. And... Let's get this one. And then I will set it to... I'm going to set this one back to raising flames and set this one to ignition. Okay, so I said I had a theory. Yeah, I think Jill said that mural, she thinks it's a god of some sort. I think it is a god or some other godly-like being. I think that's the voice we've been hearing. And I think it either, maybe it gave us these abilities to kill the other dominants. Because we've killed two, and I feel like that's one person killing two dominants, I feel is pretty significant. Oh, what's going on, boy? Oh, the village is in trouble, isn't it? Toggle, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. So yeah, I have a feeling that uh, Five is meant to kill or take the powers of all the other dominants. I don't know what we're going to see, I guess. Oh yeah, I can see stuff through the walls. Not good in here. Ah, uh, Imperial scum. What happened here? Imperials. You pay for this. Oh, we've got a live one. What are you doing here? 
Oh, that's cool. Remember our orders? No survivors. Who would order such a thing? Our mother, I bet. Yeah, go on, let's go. Okay, so I better make sure to let that build up because that goes down fast. <laughs> I love that ability, that is cool. we can find some survivors at least lady hannah thought you could escape us did you branded you were born a slave and you'll die i was born nobility and i will freaking take it back okay now he's a bit too big Try and take out the mages actually just to even things up a bit. I feel like I should have seen this coming. I feel like this was like should have been seen, but I just kind of thought maybe there would be one place where everything was just a little bit happy and a lot happy, but a little bit hopeful, like a last a last spark of the old realm, and instead it's just this depressing. Well, it was it wasn't depressing. It was nice, and now it's this bloodbath. Is that Lady Hannah's house? Oh. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. I knew it. Oh. Please tell me we get to go and take her head. Oh, you you know why, you've met her. Oh, better heal. Oh, look what's full. Oh, damn. Okay, let's just get out into the open and then we'll go big. Come on. Nearly got him down, nearly got him down. Right, just wail on him with everything we got. That limit gauge is going up real quick.
Oh, nice. Suck it. Woo. Oh, no. Uh. Gav. Clive. Thanks for trying, guys. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Yes. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Let's get going. Let's tell Sid the not good news, not bad news. Let's just tell him the news that we're in. We lost people. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Hello, who are you? Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Oh, no. Lord Kutger's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Who is this fella? He... I don't think he's Imperial. I think he works for Hugo the Titan. Ah, oh, damn. Right, back to the hideaway. We'll go on just for a little bit longer and then we'll start to wrap things up. But I do want to... I do want to talk to Sid and kind of... Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. Yeah, there's nothing else going on in here, so let's just head up to Sid. Alright, Jill. We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. 
There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. <laughs> pay a visit to Mother. Oh, now I'm in. That was a mad plan, but he convinced me with that last line. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Doom to see Emperor. My God, he looks pompous. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, uh, yeah, well, I, 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 the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea. Sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Alright, but I don't hate him that much now after that speech. 
We are but their servants. He's probably lying, though. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. I mean, that would make sense from a story, literary-wise. Alright, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. You know, this makes sense. Going, mind. Well. I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? themselves so now you want to do something about the crystals and what we're not helping bearers and dominance anymore I didn't say that I made a promise and I intend to keep it but if we continue down this path there's only one fate that awaits the realm and we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I 
suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. for this if everything we were taught about the mother crystals was a lie then what else might we have been deceived about if everything we were taught about the mother I'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit a long walk to oriflam and i wouldn't want you keeling over on the way right then i think we are going to end things here we need to talk to Sharon, and there's also two side quests going on, so we'll pick them up at the start of the next episode as well. But yeah, a lot happened here, didn't it? Came to terms with our guilt, we accepted that we are free, we lost some people, we joined the cause, and we found out the cause is really, really ambitious and ridiculous. Also, we really just confirmed our mother is a horrible person and that we need to kill her, but that's for another day anyway if you have enjoyed this video do leave a like and a comment thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it don't forget to follow me on twitter and on medium to stay up to date on everything that's going on with the channel and everything else that i also have going on and don't forget that we have our first stream on twitch this friday 12 to 3 irish time and we'll be streaming Spider-Man PS4. And the link to the channel will be in the description and the cards of this video. And lastly, if you like what you've seen here and want to see more, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything I have going forward. And I shall see you all next time.